Mitsubishi Jima from Japan. Back at Shockwave 2005, Pride Fighting Championships made the announcement that former Japanese WBO NABO cruiserweight boxer Nishijima wanted to join the ranks of the world's best MMA fighters. Nishijima decided to dive headfirst into Pride and wasn't afraid to do battle with Mark Hunt. And Nishijima now coming back in the final 15 seconds of the first round. Nishijima beginning to go to work. And Hunt is tiring. Nishijima took all that Hunt threw at him, but in the end, even his strong fighting spirit wasn't enough. Right, and that works, Nishijima, and it's over. But as with all pride fighters, it's not whether you win or lose, but how you evolve as a fighter that counts. And Nishijima continues to train and still won't back down from a fight. Come fight night, I'll be in the ring and I'll be thrown down. American Phil the New York Badass Baroni. Baroni, who fought in the U.S. for many years, decided he wanted to face the top competition in the world. So the New York Badass decided to fight for prize. They're like two Whoa. guys in a bar just swinging for the oh. Baroni has achieved great success in the Pride Ring, but now he returns to the USA for what could be the most important fight of his career. Oh, 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 it's over. The General Baroni reports an electrifying knockout. Game plan simple, man. Try and smash him as fast as I can. Phil Baroni is back home. Nishijima takes on Phil the New York Badass Baroni. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the third match in the blue corner, Yosuke Nishijima! Yosuke Nishijima, former world boxing champion for one of those alphabet organizations, and in fact appeared as a pugilist here in Las Vegas back in 1994 as part of the undercard of a Bernard the Executioner Hopkins uh, fight card. So he's had a taste of Sin City before. He's had a taste of MMA so far as well, and tricks so far. It hasn't tasted very good as he's 0-3, although as we saw in that very impressive uh, video package, he really went to war in his debut with Mark Hunt. I really like the way he fights because he really uses the boxing game to his advantage on his feet, so his opponent's going to waste a lot of energy if his, if his hands aren't dead on because Nishijima does a lot of shoulder rolling like the James Tony style of boxing that gets out of the way of everything. We talk about him being a former boxer, and Craig, uh, what are the stats uh, when it comes to the sweet science? 24, 2, and 1, 15 KOs as a boxer. He won 20 boxing matches in a row at one point, former WBF World Cruiserweight champ. Now, in this fight, though, he goes up against a guy who also likes to brawl. So that makes for a very and interesting matchup here. Phil Barone.
between lets you soak up the atmosphere of the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. The man knows how to strut, the man knows how to stroll, and when he yeah. gets in the ring, he usually knows how to rock and roll with those fists. Well, it looks like a guy at Bachelorette's might want to hire for their party, but uh, don't be fooled by some of the charisma coming down. He is indeed a badass. Well, Craig Minervini, you're a Paisan. I'm a Paisan. Trig looks like a Paisan. Baroni is an Italian <laughs> through and through. Yeah. And you know us Italians, very emotional. Unfortunately, Phil Baroni has had to endure some trials and tribulations in his personal life. No excuses at anything. His troubles in his personal life. Like Drake may spell big trouble for Nishijima tonight. Well, hey, he told me every day he thought about pulling out of the fight because he was having so many problems at home. And all of a sudden he's like, look, this is how we do it. When I sign a contract to fight, I'm going to fight, period. Now, when we talked to him, it looked like that baggage was with him. Right now, though, as the athlete in him, that seems to be taking charge here in the ring.